Hi, I'm Lisa Curry Mare from Canvas Works Floor Cloths. This is a little demonstration about how to stencil on canvas. First, we're going to start by putting a little bit of latex paint on a paper plate. The paper plate will help absorb some of the paint so it won't be quite as runny. We spread it out on the paint and use a sponge brush to pick up a little bit of paint. I've placed a registration mark on my project where I'm going to place the stencil. I lay the stencil down so that the middle of the stencil is over that registration mark. I could use tape to stick this down, but this piece is small enough that I can hold it with my fingers. Now I load the brush with some paint, and then I press the brush on the plate to take some of the paint off. I want a fairly dry brush to do a good stencil that won't bleed out underneath the stencil. So I hold the stencil in place with my fingers, and just dab the brush on with the sponge brush, trying not to force the paint underneath the stencil. I only want the paint to go in the exposed areas of the canvas. I do a few of these sections of the wreath, and then I hold the stencil in place and carefully lift it so that I can see how my stenciling is looking. I want to make sure it's covering it completely, but not seeping underneath the edges. So here I lift it, but I'm holding it in place. It looks good, so I put it back down, and I continue on with the rest of my stencil. Each time I load the brush, I try to dry it off a little bit on the plate so that the paint isn't too runny on the brush. You can also use a roller sponge brush to apply the paint, but with a project with areas this small, this size brush works well. Be careful not to extend the paint out over the edge of the stencil. I check periodically to make sure that the stencil is looking the way I like. And again, drying the brush off before I apply it. If I'm doing a set of four placemats, I will do all four at once so that they all look the same. Also, that way I can use the same brush and the same stencil without having to clean them in between. When this stencil is done, I lift it up one more time just to check, but I'm still holding it in place. It's very difficult to replace a stencil and get it in the same spot. So hold it in place, check it, and if it looks okay, lift it off. Now we're going to go to the second stencil, which is the star in the center, and I'm aligning my wreaths with the previously painted green wreaths. I allowed that paint to dry for probably 15 minutes before I put the stencil down on top. And I'm using a burgundy color for the center star area. Again, I'm just dabbing the paint on, not forcing it underneath the stencil. If paint does get underneath the stencil, you can pick up the stencil, wash it, and then start over again. It's better to put on several light coats than one heavy coat which bleeds out underneath the stencil. And when the design is complete, I check once more to make sure that it looks good before I lift the stencil off. And it looks fine, so then I pick it up and I can erase the registration mark in the center just with a white eraser. 
and it's a completed project. So that's all there is to stenciling on canvas. These stencils are available in a kit offered by Canvas Works Floor Cloths. The kit includes four ready-to-paint prepared canvas placemats, which are 12 by 18 inches each. It also includes the stencils needed to complete this design, layout information, and a list of materials needed to complete the project. For more information and to order this kit, go online to www.canvasworksfloorcloths.com and click on Kits in the Make Your Own section. Hope to see you there.